What's up, fellas? A deep dive into Koken tools and who are they, when did they get started, a little history lesson, and a little overview about the products. You might want to stay tuned. Okay, guys, what we have here are all the products from Koken Tools that we carry, not all the products that are made by Koken. And a lot of you guys might say, what is Koken Tools? So Koken Tools are made in Japan. They showed up in the United States not too long ago, and they heavily got uh, publicized out to the tool industry. Now, I want to make it real clear. There is Koken USA and there is Koken Japan. And there are Koken dealers within the United States where they have grown their brand and they have made authorized distributors out there. And one of those happens to be Text Choice Tools. So we are an authorized dealer of Text Choice Tools. So what that means is we are allowed to sell you product and we are allowed to stand behind that product that if you break one of the products that you might see here on this counter and any of you guys that have done business with us in the past, we have an agreement with Koken Tools that we can lifetime warranty your tools. Any tools that you do buy outside of the United States, maybe through Koken Japan or Koken uh, Amazon Japan, something like that, you will not get a lifetime warranty on that. What is the history lesson of Koken? So Koken was developed by a guy named y Yamashi y Yamashita. Y Yamashita. It's kind of hard to say. <laughs> Yamashita. So uh, Yamashita worked for... Uh, Henry Ford back in the day, and he was 18 years old when he worked for, actually he worked for a rich family and he was an actual cook and uh, he was a restaurant server. So he, he, like, he worked for a very wealthy family and he got involved in the wealthy family and a guy named Henry Ford that owned the Ford Model T discovered this guy. And just to look this up on Google, you guys can check out all the information that I'm telling you. Henry Ford was one of Yamashita's first foreign employees. So Yamashita came to work for Henry Ford. He was there for a real long time. I think he worked there for 18 years. Yamashita loved Henry Ford so much and he respected Henry Ford so much that he actually named his own son Henry. And that's really crazy for a person from Japanese descent to take an American name and name their own kid that. I told you this is a history lesson, so guys stick with me, it gets better. He worked for him for 18 years. He got done, he, he worked his time out and he had two sons and he decided that he wanted to move back to Japan to go back to his own country. He went back to his own country. He then took a job working for General Motors company where he worked there for I think about 12 to 13 years until General Motors in the 1940s ended up having a problem with uh, some political reasons that they had to shut that down. He loved working on Model Ts, he loved working on General Motors, and he was always involved in the tooling industry. So he developed his own company called Koken Tools in two, uh, 2000, 1957. So 1957, Koken Tools was actually found and then the, the distributorship stayed in Japan for quite a long time until Koken USA came, up, came involved to where they shipped the tools back to the United States. That being said, that's a lot of information. Koken is a precision company. I can't stress it enough that what they do is the top quality of any manufacturer out there. I literally would put them up against Snap-on tools, any tools like that. I personally like things that are made in Japan because stuff that's made in Japan is actually has a lot of attention to detail and I'm about to go over a lot of that with you. So a little history lesson about Koken, a little history lesson about authorized dealers and non-authorized dealers and who's out there and allowed to sell it. Guys, I don't care what you've heard, Koken's a great company. They've never steered us wrong. They've always took care of a problem. If there was anything that was wrong, they'll take care of it through us to send to you guys because at the end of the day, you guys are the one actually using the tools. So let's go off our little things right here that are proprietary to Koken. One thing I want to start with are their extensions. Are you going to B-roll this, Connor? Yep. Okay. One thing I want to start with are their extensions. So guys, what you'll see is a patented Neuralink right here on their extensions, and no one else has this. This is a great little pat patent that they put out because it gives you a lot of grip. Another thing you'll see right here is a patented double wobble system. This has been borrowed from Snap-on. It's been borrowed from Mac. It's been borrowed from Cor uh, Cornwell. Even all the way down to, I believe, Gear Wrench has this, but they had to pay Koken for the patent. Patent Koken. Koken owns this patent. So 
A double wobble goes in like this right here, allows you 15 degrees of wobble, and then you can snap it in to where it stays nice and strong. So that's one thing that's proprietary to Koken, and that's one thing about their extensions that makes them so fantastic. And guys, if you just hold these tools, you'll understand that they're made with the highest quality. And in those extensions, they do make them in three different sizes. They make them in the quarter, the three eighths, and yeah. the half. And they also make just straight extensions. So they're not double wobble. Right. Matt has those up there too, but he has a lot of stuff in front of him, so he can be overwhelmed. So I'm gonna keep him on track Thank a little bit. Thank you, Connor, bit. I really appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate a good positive assistant. So there's the two different extensions right there. You guys can tell one is a regular wobble, one is not. Uh, I prefer the double wobble. Might not be as strong if Those you're into a really tight area, but guys, if you're into a lock-in extension, there are lock-in extensions out there with a crazy little ring on these, and they're pretty cheap. But if you do buy a set of lock-in extensions from someone, let's say SNK, or you might buy one from Snap-on, you're gonna pay a really pretty price for it because the engineering behind this lock-in extension is worth the money. So obviously you know how a lock-in extension works, but the way that their mechanism right here works is you put that down and now you're not gonna be able to pull that off or lose any of your fasteners. Now leading into losing your fastener is probably one of the most important topics I wanna talk about because these have been referred to as spring, springy things, but let's give you the technical term. C-clips, all the things. C-clips, uh, <laughs> springy sockets. So I've heard people say springy sockets, and guys, these are actually called a nut grip socket, which is another patented deal by Koken USA, or Koken Tools, and I wanna explain what that right there is. So I have a 9 16th bolt right here, and this bolt is obviously made of metal because it sticks to a magnet right here, but let's say your bolt was titanium. Let's say your bolt was stainless steel. Let's say your bolt was a non-ferrous material like you work in the marine industry or something like that, and you need to hold your fastener. You can pop this down, hold your fastener. Your fastener won't let go. You have no magnetic on the inside of this right here, no magnet to take up the space. The nut grip right here holds the fastener on all the time. Guys buy a lot of these tools that work in the aircraft industry because in the aircraft industry, you don't wanna lose anything, okay? So if you're gonna use sockets like this, this is what you want, this is what you want to do. Speaking- and In the socket sets, I'm gonna emphasize okay. this. You do have quarter inch, you have shallows, you have semi-deeps, you have point. deeps. Then you also have standard sets. They only come in the shallows, then three-eighths, same thing. And they also now have the half-inch line that just launched recently. Right. And then now Matt also has another nut grip technology that he's about to show that's a little bit different, though. You guys that are in the motorcycle industry or you guys that are working on uh, uh, what we would call a hex socket, uh, better known as an Allen socket, uh, if you're in there doing some precision stuff and you can't hold onto the hex, no one else out there makes anything like this. What I have is a hex fastener hooked into the nut grip uh, long extension or long Allen bit here. And you will not lose this fastener because of the nut grip technology. So the nut grip goes in there, allows you to put your fastener where you need it to go, holds onto your fastener so you don't lose it. So those are some more proprietary things that are from, from Coke and Tools. So, one of the biggest things that I think that sets Koken apart from any other tool manufacturer out there is the ratchets. Okay, if you've never held a Koken ratchet in your hands, do, my, do me a favor, pull 90 bucks out of your pocket, buy you a ratchet, I'm just giving you an average of what they cost, and grab it. I swear on my life, it'll be the smoothest ratchet you've ever felt in your life. It has zero back drag, and it is the smoothest out there. So if you turn this ratchet, like this right here, it literally will not even move because the back drag on it is so small. Uh, if I go into showing you a demo right here of a blown up 3D model, this is what the inside of a Z-Series ratchet looks like. So Koken USA gave us this tool right here to demo this right here on a truck. When you turn this, guys, and then you crank this into position, what you'll notice is the paw system right here shoves up into the anvil of the actual tool. No one out there has anything like that, but that's what causes the le least amount of back drag. Some of you guys are gonna go in here, you're gonna get in here and, and correct me on the right terminology, but you know what? End of the day, I don't care. I do care about your business, but I don't care about the right terminology. So, 3 8 ratchets, quarter inch ratchets, flex head ratchets, specialty ratchets, like you'll only find this right here on a truck out there that starts with an S. But this one right here is on Garage Journal. If you guys wanna know a lot about Koken tools, you can go on to Garage Journals and look at all the, all the rhetoric, rhetoric and it's writ, written in there. Woo, I'm having a hard time <laughs> talking. 
all the stuff that's written about Coke and tools, and you won't have to listen to me because I know you say, oh, he's just a salesperson, but the guys that are actually using these tools every single day are in there talking about how precision and how good and how quality the tools right there actually are. So we're not gonna go over a whole lot of prices right here. One of my favorite things is this little cool little keychain that's actually a working, a little working ratchet that you can put on there. Another cool item from Koken is the double wobble. I don't think there's a lot of people out here that make this. When I was a Cornwell dealer, they made an impact, but they did not make a chrome. This has a double wobble, and then there are some of the little socket adapters that goes from quarter inch all the way to half inch. How unique is that? That's very, very crazy. So guys, you can surf our website. Go on our website. You can look at anything you want to find, Koken tools, and you can find all the prices and everything out there. I don't really have a whole lot more to say. There are some dealers on here. Let me, let me state one thing here real clear. We sell Coke and tools. A lot of your dealers that are out there, if you have a dealer and let's say he's a Mac man or he's a Cornwall guy, or maybe he's an independent and he sells Coke and tools, me as the owner of Text Choice, I'm going to encourage you to spend your money with that guy. If you don't have a dealer that carries Coke and tools, ask us for help buy it from us, we'll warranty it, we'll take care of it. We're not here to take anything away from any other dealer out there across America. There's all kind of bread on the table for all of us. So if you are a dealer out there and you're selling Coke and tools, buy it, or you're a mechanic out there and your dealer sells Coke and tools, buy it from your dealer, okay? You, I'm gonna step in camera and say something too. What Speaking of Pal the Coke? authorized dealer. So you have a lot of drama with Koken recently is not because of Koken, but it's because of people not liking Koken for some reason. So I'm going to set the bar straight a little bit just to let everyone do, go. That's okay with me. So everyone likes to talk about Jim. Jim is the owner of Koken Tools. Jim also owns another company that carries Koken Tools. Is it called Palco? No, I'm not going to say the name, but it's Paul Mac. Paul Mac. So <laughs> yeah, but, but anyway. But we don't blame him for But doing we that. don't blame him. So the whole reason why it happened, everyone's like, it's very shady, blah, blah, blah. He owns the company and he owns the company that owns that company, but that's not what happened. When Koken first came in, Koken was not selling how they planned to and projected to. And to save from Koken USA going under, he decided to buy Koken USA with Paul Mac Tools. So he owns that company that owns Koken. So guys, not we were editing the video and I realized I misspoke in that about the Paul Mac and the Koken Tools. So Paul Mac is owned by Jim. Koken Tools, Koken USA is owned by Jim. They're two separate businesses they are not the same company right he owns one paul mac he owns coke and usa just like i explained in the video but so they're not connected. but they're not connected in any way and you're about to find out a little bit more about that after this but matt also has something he needs to say and guys we want to uh put this video out because we want to defend the truth and we want to stand up for what is the truth because this brand right here behind us is a brand that we really care about We've had a lot to do with the integration of them being put in some of the warehouses and the people that own that company like Jim and the employees that are there, we actually think a lot about those people. And when lies are out there being scattered all across the uh, internet and they're just not true, we want to call that out. But that being said, we're not in this to get into like a pissing match. We're not trying and, to get into drama or anything like that. we're not like trying that. to get into drama because drama is not what we are about. We try to be about truth and we try to be about deals and we don't talk about anyone. So guys, if you can do us a favor, before you leave a comment, think about what you might be, what you might wanna say and take this with a kind heart to know that what we are trying to do is just trying to tell you the truthful things because we want you to have a lifetime warranty on your tools and we want you to buy from an authorized dealer that's not going to get you up get you messed up in some other kind of situation exactly you know? so thank you guys you know thank you guys for watching and we just wanted to clear the air Koken. he's not double dipping he pays the same price as a paul mac tool as yeah. we do as a certified dealer of Koken usa that's real good and another thing i want to bring up a lot of people say they're buying it directly from not a lot of people one person is saying that they're buying it from coke in japan and he's not so they actually said he was buying it from Tokyo, and that's not where it's actually. We want to pop up the address where Coke in Japan is, and it's nowhere near. Tokyo. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and another thing I want to point out is I'm just going to throw a direct shot and let you know. The stickers on his box that say fragile, he is saying that, oh, it's shipped directly from there. But if you zoom in on the picture, it is just a sheet of paper that he printed out, and I literally found the same file that he printed out right here. Right. So I'm going to pop this up as well just to let you know. You're not buying it from Japan, and 
stop putting people's names in the gutter because it's not the truth. Right. Just because you're not getting sold the product doesn't mean you need to throw a company under the bus. Right. So guys, this goes for everything in the tool industry. A lot of people like to run their mouths, but they don't know what they're actually talking about. So back it up with the truth. We're not just shooting this out of our mouth. No, we're we, not. We're not. This we is spend straight an, information. We spend an hour researching information before we shoot a and video. One more thing I want to say is yeah. I don't think you can uh, import liquor from you another can't. country by just ordering it and they just send it to you. You have to be unauthorized. And you guys, do your Google work. Go by and look and see you have to be an authorized liquor distributor to be uh, shipped a bottle of liquor. You can't just be shipped a bottle of beer because it doesn't make kids would be buying beer all day long from japan and it doesn't make sense for a tool company to have their liquor license to be selling something right. like that either so guys make sure you just i want i'm a very truthful person we're a very truthful mm -hmm. business we are going to keep it honest with you and that's what we're trying to do for you it's sometimes the truth hurts and the truth is ugly but it's just the truth at the end of the day so make sure you're backing up all your information you're getting with facts and not just getting it from some random person that doesn't know what he's talking about right that's all i have to say but now matt's going to be back in the video by himself i don't know if there's anything else he really needs to talk about but now it's on I'm you, I'm talking about the joys of dealing with text choice, and we're here to sell tools, but we're, we're actually here if you need us, okay? We're not here to steal the business from the industry. Yeah, honestly, back to what I said earlier, if you have a dealer in your area and he sells coking, we applaud you to buy, we encourage you to buy tools from that dealer because we are not here to try to take business we're not that hungry okay we're hungry but we're not that hungry that we don't we can't get along with everyone so. another thing i want to say about being a dealer if you're an authorized dealer of coken you can warranty it so like text choice tools can coken usa anyone that buys directly from coken usa they are going to be able to warranty your product but if they're buying it from another party that's not them then they're not going to be able to warranty right. it. if you go right. buy it from coken japan and you're a guy in the us you're never going to be able to warranty it. Do so. us a favor and run over to Koken USA on Instagram and on TikTok. You will start to see some uh, official statements stated by Koken uh, that sets the record straight. So I know there's some drama out there, but we don't want to talk about that anymore, guys. <laughs> so we brought you a little history lesson. We brought you a fantastic product. We have this stuff available. We're gonna be doing more promotions on Cocaine. We sort of kicked them to the curb for just a little while, but we've been busy with some closeout deals, but we wanted to set the record straight. So all of you guys, we thank you so much for tuning into our channel. Thank you for watching our channel. Thank you for the business that you've given us and being loyal customers. Yes, we're gonna mess up every now and then, but the biggest part about it is you can pick up the phone and you can call us and we'll take care of your issue. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Text Choice and Koken. We guys hope, we hope you guys have a fantastic week. Thank you so much for the business. You guys have a great one.